Today we're at Time Out Market Miami, Florida's largest food hall. This is opening day, it's like around noon, so we're gonna start off with a few cocktails. Yeah. And then we're gonna get a lot of food. Um, we actually won a giveaway on Instagram thanks to Time Out Miami. They were giving out a $50 gift card, so we get to pick that up. And that's gonna help us to buy a lot of things. <laughs> if you don't follow us already on Instagram, at the flipped, follow us. Okay, so let's, let's go. go. Eat. Yeah. Uh, I don't got the most, but I don't got the least. The plan is to own, so we don't got the least. Running on this marathon like an athlete. Ain't no stopping me, nah, ain't no stopping me. We got our timeout market Miami gift card, $50. So I think we're gonna do the My Kind of Manhattan and... Look, they feature different um, bars here in Miami. Oh, Those yeah. Shaker, Sweet Liberty. And then you are gonna get a Negroni? Yeah, I'm getting a <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Most, but I don't got the least. The plan is to own, so we don't got the least. Running on this marathon like an athlete. Here I got the Time Out Market cocktail called My Kind of Manhattan and you got the Negroni which is not on the menu but they can do it if you want yeah. one so cheers so we already spent $25 from our $50 gift card on one drink each but they're worth it just to get you style jackets My OG kept the llama but no alpaca Alpine is all white like Colombian bricks Street team, Yanks, those Colombian chicks Rap kings supplied them the loveliest face Sixteens up here is what Pablo was flipping Neighborhood five minutes from where Griselda was living Alright, so we're gonna start off with Mammy Smokers Our favorite Miami spot And we're gonna get the bacon wrapped plantains With queso fresco y guayaba Neighborhood five minutes from where Griselda was living my thought was gonna get it. get it. If you bag it, they'll come. That's pharmacy physics. If you bag it, they'll come. That's pharmacy physics. Box Chevys, Wiggles, and Polly's the sickest. There be no gang cup. You know who the click is. Oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. Oh, that's it right there. Here we got the Mammy Smokers plantains. They look really good with guayaba and queso fresco. Let's see. Sweet and smoky and salty and everything. Just like everything in one. Mom. The queso fresco to the guayaba, everything about Plantain. this is so Miami. Dreadheads, go, right here we rock dickies. Dreadheads, go, right here we rock dickies. Uh, I don't got the most, but I don't got the least. The plan is to own, so we don't got the least. Running on this marathon like an athlete. Ain't no stopping me, nah, ain't no stopping me. We're back at Kush and we're gonna try the chicken and waffles. I don't got the most, but I don't got the least. The plan is to own, so we don't got the least. Running on this marathon like an athlete. Ain't no stopping me, nah, ain't no stopping me. A mother said, Bray, hit this beat on Kush. I go see the sunlight. Oh, it's time. I think it's right there. Ooh, that looks so good. Thank you. All right. Chicken and waffles. Is that delicious? This is homemade sriracha maple syrup and it is so good. Choppers can't cause that action. Backflips. Choppers can't cause that action. Trap stints. Them poor creatures. Brick housing. Brick brown leaders. I'm gonna get the paloma. And the grapefruit soda that we topped it with is almost sugar free. It's so really nice. Okay. I'm addicted just to that alone. <laughs> mezcalita, is that a bit spicy? Spicy mezcalita margarita. It's oh, that sounds fun. Really you should do that. Well. I think I'm gonna do that one. Mezcalita. Brick Brown Lee, the Chandelier from Public Housing. God boasts. Gaming based on sympathy. God boasts. Gaming based on sympathy. Rapping for some work money. We're at FOMO and we're gonna get one bao bun to try. Here is our little bao bun. It's so tiny. This is gonna be easily one bite each. So let's see how well you can get one bite in. Oh wow, you left me a pretty big good bite. Nice. Very sweet and sour. Yeah, very 
like sweet with like sour. Wow, <laughs> so creative. We're gonna get a cafecito from the local Cuban. We're gonna get one normal one and one con evaporada milk. Local Cuban. People are starting to show up because it's now we're closer to one o'clock, I'm guessing. We got some cuadritos. So we got leche evaporada and regular milk. Yeah, there's something slightly different, but it's not it's just that this one's cold. Yeah, because it's hard to, uh, Yeah, so it's hard to compare, but I almost like this one more, but it's hot, so I don't even know what I like about it. <laughs> You can't go wrong with espresso and milk. I think I like evaporated milk. Yeah, evaporated milk is like slightly more fun. Giorgio Raffi We're about to get some pasta carbonara. Our carbonara is ready. Nice. Thank you. You take the first bite. Tastes like what pasta carbonara should taste like? It doesn't taste like pasta carbonara. <laughs> but it tastes good. But it's good. The breadcrumbs. I don't think they're using too much pecorino. Oh, yeah? They have bacon stuff on Charlie. <laughs> what? They're breaking the rules, but is it good? It's good. Okay. That's all that matters. Café con leche, ice cream from Azúcar, and let's see. It's all coffee flavored, so it's really good. We're gonna get the red bean filled donut with matcha glaze. Okay, next time we come, we're gonna try this pork belly lettuce wrap. So here is the, it's like a red bean lentil matcha matcha glazed donut. I don't know. It looks so strange, but we'll find out how it tastes. Okay. <laughs> you need a light, like a knife and fork for this? Yeah, it's a bit. Dense? Yeah. Yeah? Is it interesting? That's really good. Yeah? Oh man. Right, so it has like a red bean filling and a matcha glaze. Hmm. Wow. That's one of the best donuts mm -hmm. I've ever had. Definitely different, but in a good way. Yes. It's actually like just the right amount of sweet. Yeah, I like it. Very good. It's really good. Very interesting. And it's crunchy. And the, the filling, the middle, or whatever. What do you the It's inside, like a red bean dough. lentil filling. Yeah. But, but it's really soft. And mm -hmm. then the outside is perfectly crunchy. Very it's not like. often you get a donut that's crunchy and soft. Yeah, very yeah. unique. I, I, I like this. We could have gone with another donut that existed here. There was like a Love Life Cafe, other donuts, and this one was the one we went for. And I think this is by far the best dessert option we've tried, so. We haven't tried a bunch of desserts though. No, we tried ice cream. What, there's like 20 cream. restaurants in there? We've but, only had like six? Yeah, it's hard to get them all, to the mall, and you can only get to so many of them, but everything we've tried today has been delicious, so. We recommend pretty much everything we've tried. Well, I, right? I, I would say for anyone to come here to try as much as you can. You know? Yeah. Whatever catches your eye, just try it. I will say the pasta carbonara was really good. Yes. I that mean, everything we've out. had 
has been good. Yeah. It's nothing that was bad. The only thing I think would be nice is if they all would option, like if there was an option to have smaller size portions so that people you could eat, eat more. more of each little section, you know what right. I mean? Because a lot of the times they have like, for example, the pasta carbonara was like $22 and it's like a giant bowl of pasta. And we would have preferred to maybe have gotten half the size, half the size for like ten dollars, and then you or know whatever, just moved 12. on to try yeah. more things. I feel like if they offered more like appetizer size options, people could try more options. You know, if now you get full, we we, we tried yeah, we're to full already. I didn't want to get full yeah. this quickly. We were trying to, to eat we were trying to get day. to as many as we could, and yeah. it was like <sighs> like it gets you full because everything is like. And we tried to pick the small dishes. We did pick one big dish, which was the carbonara. pasta carbonara, but everything yeah. else was small dishes. But if we would have picked, we would, we would have only handled two to three big dishes, so. Or less, yeah, I don't know. So if you are visiting Miami and you want to check out the best restaurants, but you don't have the time to go travel yeah, to Wynwood, you have a few hours. Miami Beach, you just come here and you try them all. Everything. So it's actually like a really good deal. Um, definitely this highly recommend. Yeah, it's awesome. We will come back and try hopefully more and and then we're gonna be switching out some things, you know. Yeah, I know the bars are gonna kind of rotate. A few restaurants are gonna rotate. All right. Well, we're gonna finish this donut, and then we're out of here. <laughs>